The day after Governor Sam Brownback tells schools they have to make budget cuts, educators are now scrambling to figure out how to respond. Cake's Chris Frank is here with how the Wichita School Superintendent is approaching all this. Chris? Well, Chris, we just heard a short while ago from Superintendent John Allison. School administrators are concerned, but Allison says parents need not worry right now that any current school programs will be cut. The Wichita superintendent says the board is still trying to understand all the details of the governor's cuts. What they do know is it means cutting $3 million from a budget uh, that they're already eight months uh, into. Allison says commitments are already made, so he says there are many uncertainties which only add stress up and down the ranks. He assured uh, us that there will be no cuts to sports. Allison says the Wichita district has a $14 million reserve budget. Now, administrators tell me they keep a reserve because of times when the state is late on even teachers' pay. But Allison says Wichita will likely draw on that reserve to cover this cut. Well, our intent with, with the allotment cut is, is we will look at, at a number of different ways to, to take care of that without it impacting our students. I go back to that question, though. We've still got five more months, and what happens if there are further cuts? And that's something simply not known right now. The latest cuts from Topeka are because of January tax revenues coming in less than forecast. Well, what if February's revenues are also light? So these are things the school board will be discussing Monday evening when they meet again. Now, coming up at 6, you'll hear how a rural school district is approaching this.